practice every day. The channel's full of bread, a little turn, a little prey. I flip a million out of nothing, make me feel a certain way. Hoping that the switch. What's good, y'all? Fist Vegas, the hardest voice of sports. Go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe to the Fist. You know why you at it. Y'all know what time it is. If you ain't with it, you best get with it. Now let's rock. Listen, hit that sub button. Hit that sub button. Join this Fisk Unit Army. Get Fisk Unit tough. All right, we're on the road to 5K. This has been a long, arduous road to get to 5K. But we're going to get to that bitch, damn it. So hit that sub button. All right, eventually, <laughs> eventually, we're going to get to 5K. Okay, that's the risk you take. Of running a Giants channel. People stop giving a damn when the team is trash. They, I mean, I can't even be mad at y'all because we two and six. I can't be mad. But it is what it is. Huh. Speaking of this trash two and six franchise, Odell Beckham is a free agent. And I know what y'all thinking, Fist. Why are you doing this video? Who cares? We're not going to get Odell. And under normal circumstances, I would agree. But when the hell is Sterling Shepard coming back? What the hell is wrong with Kadarius Tony ankle? And then he had like some uh, a cut on his finger or was something. I forgot what else happened. Kenny Galladay, old brittle bone ass. Darius Slayton is filth, a bum. He's trash and should be shot. Okay, not not killed, but shot in the ass. You know what I'm saying? Like like Omar and the wire. Remember how Omar had to shoot oh Mike Mike oh Mike Mike in his hind parts? Somebody need to shoot Darius Slayton in his hind parts, fix it so he can't sit right for all them damn balls he dropped. The Giants have a glaring need at wide receiver. Odell, listen to me and listen to me carefully. Damn trying to win a Super Bowl. That don't that that, that, that don't matter for wide receivers. You know what matters for wide receivers, Odell? Hall of Fame Yellow Jackets. You're not a quarterback, Odell. You this whole Super Bowl shit, it don't matter to you. You know what your career is defined by? Production. You know where you need to be? Somewhere where you could produce. Guess what, Odell? When you go to Kansas City, that's a two-man show. That's Tyreek, that's Travis Kelsey. They they only need you for like random third downs. Ask Sammy Watkins. He ain't get nothing when he was in Kansas City. Green Bay, all he do is throw to Devontae, plus Aaron Rodgers is a damn diva, okay, Odell, I'm just letting you know that now, if you, if you Aaron Rodgers, is, if, you, if you don't gel with Aaron Rodgers, he won't throw you the ball, you might end up worse in the Baker situation, the Rams, they don't need you, that's Cooper Cup, that's Robert Woods, you go to the Rams, you're a third receiver, Lamar Jackson can't throw, I, I'm sorry, Lamar Jackson is a good thrower, but he can't throw, he can't, Lamar Jackson can throw the ball, but he can't make a wide receiver, he can't give a wide receiver 90 catches, 1200 yard type production. Lamar Jackson's a thrower, but it's going to happen more so like in the flow of the offense. I can't see Lamar having a favorite receiver and throwing him the ball 12 times a game. That's just, no. All right, he's a system passer, okay? New Orleans don't have a quarterback. What else am I missing? Uh, The Raiders don't want you. Uh, I found that out on First Things First this morning. Nick Wright reported it, that a source from the Raiders said they don't want Odell Beckham. And Derek Carr is trash anyway. So what I'm trying to say is this. There's no room for you in L.A. Aaron Rodgers and Odell is a bad fit, if you ask me. Kansas City, he ain't going to get the damn ball enough. And by, and by the way, Kansas City is 4-4 four four right now. It's not like they're world beaters. Odell, come home. Come home, baby. Come home, Odell. Your best friends are still here. Shepard. Saquon. You rock with Daniel Jones in the offseason. We've seen the photos. Come home. Okay? Come home. You get you. Listen, Odell, I'm trying to tell you, you get all the perks back. 
You go back to being OBJ if you come back to New York. We will cut Dante Pettis for you to get that number 13 back if he ain't trying to come up off it. I promise you, Odell, you come to New York, Daniel Jones will get you that ball. Because the difference, because listen, all we need him to do, Giants fans, is replace Darius Slayton. That's it. All Odell Beckham got to do is be better than Darius Slayton. That's it. If Odell Beckham comes to the Giants today, I'm willing to bet any amount of money that I can afford. If we got Odell Beckham Jr. today, we will finish at worst a 7 and 9, 8, no, 7 and 10, 8 and 19. God, I forgot there's an extra game. <laughs> I forgot there's an extra game. So at worst, we finish 7 and 10. 8 and 9. If you give Daniel Jones the proper weapon, we're good. Because what does Darius Slayton do most of the time? He's either running a slant or he's going deep. Odell Beckham, what does he do best? Run a slant, go deep. Everything Darius Slayton has failed at, Odell Beckham will succeed at. You keep Galladay in his natural spot because we Odell Beckham always needed a Kenny Galladay to compliment him anyway. We got Kadarius Tony to work the slot. If you look at this realistically, Giants fans, Odell Beckham Jr. on the Giants is the perfect fucking fit. I'm just keeping it in a hundred. I'm not doing this because I'm a homer. I'm just being honest with you. If you really look at this from a football perspective of where he would fit best, it's on the Giants. Think about it. Kadarius Tony in the slot. Odell Beckham runs the Slayton tree. And Kenny Galladay's our big possession receiver. If you really look at it, the Giants really are the best fit for him. From a football perspective. And guess what? He's in a big market he's back in new york city odell beckham ain't built for small markets he lost his swagger i'm telling y'all daniel jones obj Woo! i'm crying oh, i want to see it <laughs> i want to see it so bad <sighs> joe judge is here now you know what i'm saying we got a coach that can handle obj you feel me? I think Joe Judge, it works. He knows Joe Judge because it wasn't Joe Judge coaching the wide receivers in New England. Uh, Joe Judge was the wide receiver coach and the special team coordinator. Unless I'm mistaken, Joe Judge is the wide receiver coach slash special teams coach. Which means that when the Patriots were trying to get Odell Beckham Jr., he was in on it as well. He had to approve of it. He had to be like, yeah, come on in. He coaches the receivers. So, you know, if he would, if he could work with Antonio Brown, could work with Odell. But anyway, it's just a pipe dream. I doubt it happens, but it wouldn't shock me. I doubt it happens, but it wouldn't shock me. Because my thing, if you're Odell, where are you going to go? You want to go play second fiddle to Devontae? You want to go be a third option in Kansas City? A third option in L.A.? Wh where is he really going to go? You know what I'm saying? Where is he going to go? Odell wants to be a star again. He comes to New York. He's a star. Kenny Galladay is not a star. Kadarius Tony isn't a star yet. He comes to New York. He gets all the spotlight back. He gets his commercials back. And he gets a quarterback that will get on the damn ball. Just saying. But anyway... That's it, that's all. Subscribe to the unit if you're rocking with me. My name is Fist Vegas, and I approve this message.